with a new podcast, Beatrice destroys Meghan's career, even though Spotify removed the equipment from the Sussex residence Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson's older daughter Princess Beatrice debuted on podcasts and opened up about her own struggles with dyslexia as a youngster. In an interview with the CEO and creator of Made by Dyslexia, a dyslexic thinking specialist, the Royal made his podcast debut on Lessons and Dyslexia Thinking on Tuesday to commemorate the beginning of Dyslexia Awareness Month. Griggs, Kate Per Hello Magazine report, Beatrice talked about her experience growing up with dyslexia and how her mother, Sarah, the Duchess of York, has been her strongest supporter. During her podcast interview, Beatrice revealed that she was diagnosed with dyslexia at the age of seven. She added, my family and I are incredibly close so I would say that all through our lives we've been able to go through everything together with humor and joy. Her mother really instilled in her that she's been through so much in her life, and I find her to be one of the most inspirational characters of joy and humor. Even recently, with everything that she's been through, she still finds the time to be self-deprecating and joyful about changing her life and what she needs to do. For me at the time, it was like, oh no, we'll just do this another way of course we'll do it another way, and that inspired me to create a methodology for life. I believe champions and role models really addressing Beatrice's podcast I'm extremely proud of you, baby, Princess Eugenie remarked while sharing a podcast recording of Beatrice. She went on, amazing work raising awareness for dyslexic thinkers and their struggles by telling a personal tale. You are an amazing person that inspires me every day because of the way you think. Many of Beatrice's raw admirers have applauded her podcast. In the meantime, a source among the Spotify staff revealed that their manager is reaching out to Princess Beatrice in order to reach a compromise. To improve its reputation, the streaming service does, after all, wish to be associated with the royal family. It happens after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's unsuccessful attempt to work with Spotify kept making news. The highly touted partnership between the royals and the global streaming behemoth failed because, according to Spotify CEO Daniel Ek, customers were unimpressed. There are rumors that Spotify dispatched a truck to Meghan and Harry's home in order to seize all of their studio equipment. Just 12 podcasts will be released by the Duchess and Prince Harry's firm, Arch, in the two and a half years after they signed with Spotify in December 2020. He questioned the CEO whether he thought the collaboration, which ended on June 15, 2023, was worth the $20 million price tag during a recent interview with BBC broadcaster and technology journalist Zoe Kleinman. She mentioned that you had the Obamas and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, among other very significant people. Was the £18 million worth it? Mentioned Meghan's podcast is unoriginal, copied, and without a clear purpose, but the streaming service wants to remain flexible in allowing new artists to connect with listeners. Even with her complaining, Meghan's supporters would likely argue that she's too busy with other endeavors and wants to try her hand at other things now that everything is apparent. After all, they have been praising her for having the best podcast.